then there was my sister who just wouldn't stop attacking. We gotta try this again. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Put the fire out, blood. Ah, fucking fire! Nope, not getting me with that shit. Always flail afterwards. Need to refill. There we go. Quarantine. Why were they knocking on the doors of houses that have quarantine signs? Like I can't take a hit. I'm gonna have to kill them all over again, aren't I? Yes, I am. All right, then. Ah, fuck, I attracted them. Stop stabbing me! Oh god. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Told you. So much fire. What the fuck just happened with the camera? Welcome to an entire episode of me f failing and dying. Excuse me. Right, fuck this. I'm gonna ask around a bit more because I got, I got a bunch more people I haven't met yet. Go this way. Ask around.
Or I could go this way and avoid the people in this part. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hello, boy. Ah, oh, seriously, I attracted them too. Alright, that's them taken care of. It's locked. Is there another Stop that shit. Hmm. Must be a side way in. Maybe a back entrance. Yes. I need some of your blood, rat. I have this thirst for blood. Yes, I'm well aware. That's why I ate the rat. I needed some of its blood because I'm running low. Ugh. It looks dank. Not in the dank meme kind of way. Oh dear. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Would it be a blood rage? Hmm. I like their fancy stuff, though. Dick rich blood sample. Ooh. He had oh. his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. God. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. Mm, can't get in there. Oh god, this isn't gonna go well. It's a skull. Tell by the fucking boils. Great actress. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. Ah! Oh, 28, what? 
Ah, this isn't gonna go well. That went well, though. I parried her twice now with little effort. Ew. No, you're not jumping on me. She is so easy to parry, what the hell? Why isn't everybody this easy to parry? Ew. Oh, God. Yeah, get that shit off me, man. Or woman. Vomiting right. <laughs> Stop it, lady. <laughs> Oh god, she blew up. Could be a new stage in the disease's evolution. A new stage in me stabbing myself to heal. That's what it is. It. That was an easy fight. She was level 28. I had more trouble with my sister. Letter from the Fletcher Acting School. Dear Elsa. Ah, uh, she couldn't let it go. It's with the... <laughs> ah, terrible jokes. It's with the greatest joy that I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had, the kindness to perform for me last week, convinced me that you have talent, or that you have what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature, and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school. Since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students. So please, remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. So... This girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Hmm. Well, here's hoping she wasn't just acting like a skull. I don't need to kill them. <clears throat> Maybe I do need to... Uh, ...tophagy, or whatever it's called. What's this place? Bastard over there. That that Vulcan.
shit, shit, shit. Give me that back. Is he at full health? What? Ah, shit. I don't need to be in that park anyway. Stop telling me to eat people. I don't want to eat people. I don't have to eat people if I don't want to. Alright, whew. I thought I'd have to fight her again. I do not. Thank God. I can... I should probably go talk to Dr. Swansea. ABC about this event here. About the, uh... About the... I think, I think that, I think, uh, the nurse was level 21, so... We'd be able to take her. At least in my current state. doing this warning leaflet my senders must unite don't let them fool you don't let them control you they are amongst us they lust for your soul vampires are real defend your community this public warning leaflet has been financed and distributed by mr c crossley for information please contact him directly and attend his next public lecture Sounds quickly. Hmm, who are you? We meet again, Mr. Kimura. In a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed? Still visiting London by night? We must both be nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. Ah, yes, he's the guy I saved. What can you tell me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Did he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. 
In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. Yes. Astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Hmm? This one? Draco. My favorite constellation. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations, yet I barely remember my own childhood. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Is there anything to connect me to this city anymore? What an interesting conversation.